Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion HD Renovation. Since we are now down the doll host, I think it is time for us to finally jump back into Ennis mode. I don't know about you guys, but I've been missing Ennis mode. So let's go do this and we're just uh, gonna see how we do. I enjoy by the way how we just start outside the house and then pick up our trusty axe, chop down the door, and just, just enter and the madness begins. Oh wow! This is a room that I haven't seen. Oh, it makes me feel like I'm inside of a temple and not uh, Spooky's uh, house full of jump scares and spooks. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, this is totally new. Like seeing like, these uh, tile sets, you know? I'm not used to this. I kind of dig it though, I must say. It feels like I'm like in some sort of ancient pyramid. Pretty cool. Would like to see if there's some notes. There is a note. Aha, uh -huh, yet again, I have cheered the grave and shall proceed to escape these confines. While they thought of my death being quite romantic, they crossed my mind. I believe my escape shall be purposefully more so. Ah, so the romance guy lives. He is not dead yet. That dead corpse that we saw with the hat was not him or her. I don't, I don't know who's leaving these notes. Whoever it is is really digging romance though. It's kind of nice to be coming back to the basics like this, though, after spending all that time in, the, in that creepy, uh, in that creepy hospital and in that creepy, uh, in that creepy dollhouse. It's nice to be back to the basics, you know, of what spooky is. Just opening doors and watching up, watching your back, because you never know when you're going to be chased. The wall still looked like some sort of ancient pyramid. I must say... Um, anything down this way, if I go down this way? No. Not at all. Wait a minute. Oh, I was about to say, am I stuck in a loop now because I decided to go down there? Oh, that would have been evil. Uh, we know that's an endless hallway. Don't, don't fall for the tricks. Ooh, now we're wearing purple. I mean, this is a nice change from the green. Only 22 rooms in. I really feel like we've, we've been in this longer, you know, but no. Sometimes it, what feels like an eternity is just a couple of minutes. That's kind of what spooky is sometimes. Hello, where the, wait, what? Where's the door? What? Hello? That's the door I came from. Oh, you want me going down this way then? Yeah, oh, oh okay. That room was weird. It was weird. It was so weird. Alright. When am I going to be introduced by my, to my first spook? Hello, brain. I am not going to release you. We tested that one time. We've we seen what has happened. My last run in Endless, I did that just to show what, what it does. Which it basically just kills you with no chance of uh, running away. It is too fast. Hi, you're adorable, but you must die. Oh, I thought that chair was something. I don't know why that scared me, but it did. More beds again? Can I go up that ladder up onto the bunk bed? Nope, I can't. Okay. Aw, that makes me a little sad. It's kind of funny that I rest in an elevator and not like, uh, you know, like in a room with a bed. It, it's just kind of weird. It's like, ah, we made it to an elevator. Let's, let's take a nap here until, uh, you know, the player decides to come back to this game. Hi, you're adorable. I wish I could eat you. Like the cardboard cutouts just, they don't really phase me. Well, they do kind of like when they make the loud noises, but when they just make cute, adorable little sounds like that, that aren't really that loud. They don't really scare me that much. And plus they kind of phase me less when I, after being, you know, introduced to real things that can hurt me. Uh, I think these games are all the same. Yeah, the last one's still out of order. Would that ever be in order? I don't know. Ah, we got some nice peaceful music to listen to. That makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. I'm just so happy to be here in this, uh, big mansion full of jump scares and spooks and monsters that want to kill me and what are you a potato I think the real terrifying thing about that 
Oh, is it the room of Howard again? Yeah, it is. Okay. But yeah, I think the most terrifying thing about that potato pop out we saw is that it just, uh, it popped out of nothing. Hi, Howard. How you doing? Nice of you to come screaming in my ear holes. I've seen Howard so many times that he just doesn't fit. Hi! You look like one of the egg fruits in uh, Ice Climbers. Yeah, the little pop outs just really don't phase me anymore. Oh, that's because I've been introduced to, you know, like spooks that will hurt me. Oh god, it's this room, alright. Donk. Donk. Okay, this way then. Ding. Donk. Okay. Ding. Ding. Straight again? Nope. Okay. Ding. Ding. Donk. Okay. So, bing. Bing. Ding. Damn it! Oh, I almost said it wrong. Alright. Ding. 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 Again? No! God damn! There we go, we did it. Nice. I don't mind this music, it's nice and peaceful and relaxing. We need some time to relax in a big mansion full of skaters. It feels like it takes a little bit too long for anything to start chasing you though. Unlike we're in the original, it's just sort of like this, it just sort of comes on you. We're here, I'm the, I almost uh, to room 100, our first elevator, and nothing's come after me yet. I don't know, there's like some things that I prefer the original over, like uh, like the puppet, and definitely the endless mode, because it just takes so long for anything to happen. Don't get me wrong though, the HD version does have a lot going for it, like it has a bunch of different features at it, it has the DLCs included, it's, it is pretty nice. Oh no, oh boy, we're, we're doing this. Okay. There's a door. Let's get going. Yeah, now he's gonna be after us. Oh boy. Nobody breaks into his. Oh shit. He's gonna get me. Hi. Ow. 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 Please, please no. Oh jeez. That 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 scream. I know when he screams like that, he's charging you. So when you hear that, you should be alarmed. I'm almost at room 100 though. We can get through this. I can't believe I have to do the whole goddamn mansion again, though. That's one thing that kind of ruins uh, the endless experience for me again, is having to do it again. I mean, it's a cool idea where you have to be re reintroduced to the spooks, but doing the whole thing again, no thank you. I'm almost at room 100. There's 10 more rooms to go. I told you, throw it away. I got a guy with a sickle after me. And he wants to do bad things to me with that. Oh, hello. I am still filled with vigor after my experience the other day. My hunger and thirst have both left me, leaving me with nothing but distilled romanticism. Boy, you and your romance. When you come down here, I think uh, romance is pretty much uh, it's pretty much dead down here in the depths of hell. There is no romance down here. 
Wow, that guy gave up the chase very quickly. I know he's not chasing me because uh, he didn't do anything when I was reading that. And in that room with the brain, there is never anything chasing you. So, boy, he gave up quick. He didn't even try to make it to room 100. I thought I had to deal with him the whole... Oh, my God. Ah, that's the first time, well, today, that the one always actually faced me. We made it. Save. Broccoli. Eat. Don't mind if I do. Axe. Chop till you drop. I'm a chopping. And I'm a not dropping. Let's go. Go down deeper. Deeper. Into the bowels of hell. Alright, let's go. Next 100 floors await us. Oh, we got some green walls. Okay. Kind of moldy down here. That's kind of disgusting, but alright. Oh, we got some fish aquariums. Alright. Not bad. I don't want to go down there. I think I just want to keep going straight. Nope, I don't. Okay. Luckily, nothing's chasing me. Otherwise, this room would kind of uh, screw me over. Locked? That one I know is also locked. Yeah, I'm not... Ooh, ooh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna fall for your tricks again. Is it set so that the last door you check is the door that's not locked? Kind of a dick move there. Hang on one moment. It was getting kind of dark, so I turned uh, the lights on. I know that uh, horror games like this are best to be played in the dark, but I learned my lesson from before. It was literally so dark that my webcam just looked like a big black screen. So uh, I've learned uh, not. I learned uh, not not to do that. Hello, Bones. Are you my friend who's going on about romanticism? Uh, not being reduced to a pile of skeletons is not really my idea of romantic. I mean, I made a joke in the first episode that uh, running around, running around in a haunted mansion. Full of uh, spooks and monsters and whatnot is my idea of a rom rom romantic time. I can't speak today. <laughs> and yes, I, w I was joking when I said that. <laughs> Although part of me also w wasn't joking about that because, uh, as you guys know, I really, I really love like the horror theme. I dig this kind of stuff. I love these new rooms, by the way. Like even though there's woo. Even though there's not much to offer in these new rooms, it's just that just seeing them is really just enough to, you know, feel like an accomplishment that brain again. It's the third time I had to see you. I am not going to release you from your glass prison. You deserve to remain locked up. Oh boy, our friend from the mansion is back. Oh, this is a horrible room to be dealing with you. Oh, I see you. Oh, look at him run. There we go. He's charging. He's a fast one. Woo! Oh, I'm not wasting my time, bro. You're wasting your time. Oh. There we go. Okay. Woo! Don't give me complicated runes when I'm in the middle of a chase, man. I need my brain to figure them out. And I can't use, really use my brain when I'm running from something because then I just focus on one thing and that's getting the hell away. At least I'm not dealing with anyone that can go through walls. Thankfully. Or float over gaps. He is kind of annoying though. He's putting up more of a chase this time though, I must say. Is he done? Oh no! I remember this from last time. This is where I met my demise. Oh boy! Hello, why is there a bear here? I had to kill the animals? Okay. She's like an, she looks like an anime character. I'm thinking in the last episode where I couldn't move, maybe one of these uh, animals were in a way, you know? 
They're kind of more visible now than before. Get out of my way! Oh. No! She got me! She got me good! Well, not really good, but she did get me. Sorry about, sorry about that, Mr. Moose, but you're kind of in my way. If you're in my way, you must perish. And I don't mind taking an axe to your ass. Anything to survive. She has some rocky music, though. Although it does get a little bit disturbing. Well, we survived. Yay. We survived the Winter Wonderland. The ghost of Christmas past has... Son of a bitch. Popping out of the wall, surprising me like that. Who do you think you are? Wait, is she? Oh, she's back? Uh-oh. No! You just got done with me, and now you're back already? Although, did she ever leave? I don't know anymore. Like, maybe the snow is always here. Oh, boy. This is not a room I like being chased in. No, thank you. I'm not a fan of the cold. My, me and cold have never seen eye to eye, okay? Why I don't know. Maybe because I have the ghost of Christmas past chasing me. That seems like a good enough reason to run. Oh, great. New room. Yeah, you already said that. And... I always try to be a bit of a strange one. I'm a very unique individual. You won't meet any other like me, okay? Out of here! I need this door! Stupid porter, stupid wolf, stupid everything. She's gonna take chase me all the way to Oh my god, again. She's gonna chase me all the way to room 200, isn't she? Well, we're gonna have a bit of a chase ahead of us. Hope you're willing to run because I'm not going to sit and just let you take me. I am not going to embrace the cold. I do not want to watch helplessly as I get mauled to death again. No, thank you. No, I'm good. I don't wish to be consumed by the cold. Me and cold have never seen eye to eye, okay? Oh boy. I don't think she's following me anymore, but we're in uh, Howard's chamber of fun. Hi, Howard! Gotta have persistence with this room. Don't fall for Howard's tricks. Hmm, we, saw, we now have some nice music to listen to. It looks like the ghost of Christmas past is gone. Hopefully for good this time, but you never know of her. We thought she was gone before, but she came back again. I wonder if I'm going to have to deal with that mermaid again. I really don't want to do that whole underwater section again. Hi! What's this say? Wh wh where's no? I can't read that. Hello? Now, even the monsters and other incorporeal beings seem to be deterring from attacking me. They do notice me, it seems, but they don't act as imposing as they once were. Pretty due to my renewed romantic determination. Maybe I should be thinking romantically. Then maybe these things will leave me alone. Think of romance, the romantic determination within me. That's what will get me through. Hello? Oh. That's the way to go. Oh, oh okay. I was about to say my romantic determination has led me wrong, has led me astray. But that's not the case. We gotta follow the advice of that guy. He's been here longer than us, but now just think romantically and you'll get through. There is no stopping you. The power of romance knows no bounds. Not even spooky. I do not wish to talk to you on the phone. I know you don't have much to say. If you're not, if you have nothing to say, don't bother calling. It's that easy. We're almost made it to 200, guys. We're doing good. Think romantically. That's what'll get us through this. Which is uh, kind of a hard thing because I'm not a very romantic person, but. Good enough to get me through. Hello, Mr. Cactus. Old recycled art. It's it's beautiful. Hello, creepy face. 
Your most beautiful face I've ever seen. Better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of the Home Depot. What? That fi that's me mesmerizing. I see like uh, many versions of that face. Very mesmerizing. Alright guys, so I think I'm going. To, that's going to conclude today's episode. Thank you for joining me and coming back to Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And this mode, hope you guys are enjoying this and we'll wrap this up in the next episode. And I'm pretty sure next episode, you guys, unlike the last time, you guys will see it because I will make sure I am recording before we jump into this. I have learned, okay? So thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. See you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.